Now for the Class A and B race, we are in car with Mark Hales and it is now a position where we're starting the race in the wet, although with the wipers on intermittent, it's not that wet, although now the race begins, we do want full windscreen wipers coming down into Redgate for the first time. Lionel Ebert dives into an immediate lead, Keith Odor in second place, then it's Mark with the camera car, putting it very sideways, controlling it all with one hand. Down to the old hairpin and it's Keith Oda now in the lead with Lionel Abbott in second place and in third place Dave Pinkney and Robin Brundle getting it very sideways and bouncing off the curbs as he comes through there. Up Adam McLean's still Oda from Abbott from Pinkney then Mark Hales Sierra's as dominant in Class A as the Volkswagen Golfs are in Class C. And Oda getting it completely wrong with the chicane there, bouncing over the grass. And getting it very sideways just up in front as well there was uh, Lionel Abbott, but managed to hold it all together. Here we are now in car with Barbara Cowell in the BMW M3. And Barbara getting a bit of a knock up the backside there in the nicest possible way. But she'll resume and be able to continue racing. Look at the back of the car there. See the knock. Getting very close for those top positions. Abbott just holding off Mark Hales. And here we are now inside Dave Pinkney's car. He's just in behind Mark Hales. getting it a little bit sideways there and knocks Steve Pinkney as he comes, gets it back online. In fourth place there, Keith O'Dor, having lost ground, having led initially. Dave Morgan behind him in fifth. Sixth place is Graham Davis in the motor build. Then it's uh, Sean Brown's Sierra next up. Still leading Class B, Robin Brundle's BMW M3. And there's Barbara Cowell's slightly damaged second-hand BMW. It's interesting to note in this view from Dave Pinkney's car that Dave doesn't use windscreen wipers. He's using a proprietary product called Rain-X, which puts a coating on the windscreen which repels water. If you look closely, you can see the droplets streaking across the screen. Very close for the lead there between Lionel Abbott and Mark Hales. Dave Pinkley trying to stay on terms. And indeed closing the gap as well.
Pinkney challenged for second place, but he wasn't quite able to get through. In car now with Mark Hales. It's interesting to note in these tricky conditions, Mark's gentle, almost delicate style of driving. Nice smooth gear changes, no soaring at the wheel. Very, very delicate touch. You'd think he was out for a Sunday drive, which I suppose he is. And the gap's certainly coming down between Abbott and Hales as the leaders go past the bat marker. Rundle still leading in Class B. Pink has now been dropped, really, from that battle for the lead. Abbott getting it uh, very sideways, close to the limit as he goes through Redgate. Really driving the car with a great deal of care and precision as these conditions demand. Splendid view of Mark Hales hard at work as he tries to close the gap on the leader Lionel Abbott up through McLean's up this short straight to the brow of the hill which is the approach to Coppice as Abbott gets it a little bit sideways a long way away from the apex there and that's going to encourage Mark Hales to close the gap down the fast long straight underneath the Dunlop Bridge Coming down, then under braking for the chicane. Mark shifting straight down into third, getting very close indeed. But it's not going to be quite enough because Lionel Abbott is there as the chequered flag comes out. Very close Mark Hales there at the chequered flag. But no, Lionel Abbott just takes the race victory from Mark Hales in second place. Dave Pinkney finishing in third place. In fourth place will be Dave Morgan. Fifth, Keith O'Dor. And in sixth place, Graham Davis. And winning Class B, Robin Brundle in the BMW M3.